the Masters of Health Science and Medical Physiology has been in the works for a number of years. And this came to fruition through seeing how health-related knowledge is being transformed, how physiology research and new findings have a lot of relevance for different applications, but understanding that there's a bit of a talent gap. Who are the people that are going to take these new discoveries and apply them to different settings? So while there are a set of students that are great at research and want to generate new findings, we have a need for graduates that will be able to interpret those new findings, whether it be new data findings, whether it be new compounds at the bench and so on, and how to move those forward to different applications related to health. Yes, so certainly our students, we are looking for students that really understand human physiology. That's number one. The core is understanding how the body works, having a really good background in human physiology, so that if they have that foundation, then they can go ahead and move the field forward with some of the courses that they'll be undertaking in the new program. Under, uh, undertaking a new program proposal, especially in academic settings of course, um, takes on a number of different steps. There's a lot of internal and external consultations that have to take place, so both within the university as well as potential stakeholders in the community and others. Then it goes a number of different iterations and revisions internally at the university level and then that proposal will then undergo an external review. So faculty members from different institutions have to come in and have to spend the day reviewing the proposal, talking to the potential people that will be affected, other departments and so on, and writing a report. If that is favorable, then we can move on to university governance. So moving it through the Faculty of Medicine in our case, eventually to the central administration at the whole university-wide level. And then once the university approves it as a proposal, then being in Ontario as a publicly funded university, we have to undergo these external bodies as well. So Ontario Quality Council provides the approval of the program and then the Ministry of training colleges and universities at the Ontario provincial government level has to also approve the program and we're happy to say that we have received all the approvals at this point. And we're proud to say that this program is very unique in Canada and especially I would say even in North America. What makes it unique is we're taking students that have a very good, as I mentioned, background in physiology. We're going to add to that. They are going to be taking rigorous courses in human physiology, but they're also going to be taking courses that are unique to our program. We have a new course called Big Data and Health. So this is going to address questions around wearable devices. A lot of us are walking around with smartwatches and so on. Who can interpret that data? You know, we have a lot of software engineers and people that are really smart on the data side of it, but when it comes to what it means, what does that ECG mean for human health? How is that going to affect that patient's health? All of those aspects of it, that angle is where our graduates are going to come in to be able to interpret those findings. We also have a new course in commercialization and collaboration with physiology, and that's co-taught by faculty members, um, people that are involved in terms of the biotech sector as well as faculty from the Rotman School of Management. So through different angles we're going to see how different discoveries can come to market. Also clinical physiology is a new course whereby clinicians are going to come in and show the students how the research that is being done on the bench can affect their day-to-day -day practice with their patients. Students are also going to be undergoing a lot of professional development uh, a mentored literature review where they're really going to in-depth look at a certain topic in physiology. And then finally, in the third term, we have a practicum placement where students can get real-world experience. And all of that is being done in a span of one year. So all of those aspects together make our program very, very unique.
program is designed to try and address some talent gaps and emerging health trends that we have noticed. For example, a lot of people have wearable devices and a lot of data is being generated by that. A lot of physicians don't necessarily understand how to pull that data from the devices and how that might impact patient care. Our students will be able to not only understand the technology around devices, but also have the analytical skills to analyze these data sets. But because they understand human physiology so well, they can also have conversations with the physician to see how that might affect cardiac care, for example, cardiovascular care for that patient, as an example of different ECG patterns that are seen on wearable devices. Also, some of the larger, we call them wicked health problems, um, have to do with these very large multifactorial issues, such as obesity or diabetes, that are best tackled by multi-investigator teams that have a number of different research areas. The thing is that our students, because they'll understand different aspects of physiology, can act like project managers to be able to navigate these large healthcare projects to be able to tackle some of these larger questions. So going into this idea of interpreting data sets related to health, um, having multi-investigator teams working on larger research projects together, as well as really pushing the idea of commercialization and bringing new discoveries to market, all of those aspects are going to really help um, support health emerging trends moving forward. I would recommend students that are interested in this program realize that it's very academically rigorous. We are looking for applicants that have a strong background in physiology and are really ready to undertake a very fast-paced program because it, everything happens within this one year. So certainly a strong background in physiology is a must and we're looking for students that not only have bachelor's degrees in physiology or kinesiology potentially, but we also foresee people that already have health-related degrees in medicine and so on that may wish to enter into this program to better inform their practice and in terms of how their own profession is shaped by all these other healthcare trends, as I mentioned, in terms of big data or commercialization of some findings and so on. Students in our program are going to be able to undertake a four-month practicum placement at the end of the program. And this is in a variety of settings. As you can see, we're actually here in the Discovery District in Toronto, where not only research labs are placed, a lot of biotech companies, startups, and new innovation hubs are here to really bring these discoveries forward to market. And we want our students to be able to have the opportunities to get real life experience working in these settings. We foresee our students will be placed in startup companies, as well as settings whereby people are analyzing big data sets, both in large companies as well as clinical settings as well. Our physiology department has a long history from the discovery of insulin 100 years ago to a number of other um, contributions to the world of physiology and medicine. And we want to continue on that, to build on that legacy, not only with the basic research that is being done, but really through this program to really create a new pool of talented graduates to contribute to the field moving forward. Well, students that are first embarking on studying physiology should understand that it is about the human body and while we're very interesting, we're also very complex as human beings. To really begin to study it, it's best to study it system by system by system at first to really understand the details within it. I would encourage students to really thoroughly look at lecture notes, textbooks, even a couple of textbooks, a number of different figures. There's a lot of videos and other resources online that help to sometimes visualize some difficult concepts, rewrite notes, look at case studies and how you can apply that knowledge to see if uh, one can understand it. And then ultimately, we have to understand that all these systems talk to each other. 
So really, we need to be able to integrate afterwards all the different organ systems to really see how that whole interplay happens in the human body. As, they, as students undertake a first introductory course in physiology, I would encourage them to have an open mind and really um, appreciate the complexities of all the different systems. And then students will at different times potentially have a certain interest in a specific area, whether it is through the research opportunity that they were able to get, whether it is a very engaging faculty member that they had, or sometimes there are personal connections to pathophysiology, like a disease in their family or something that really speaks um, to sparking an interest in that student in that field. However, understand that Again, all of these systems are interrelated and students should have an open mind. In my studies, I began studying the immune system at first and immune cell signaling. That led to autoimmunity, autoimmune diseases, type 1 diabetes is, has an autoimmune component. And then from that, that sparked more of an interest in endocrine physiology to me. And of course, we know that endocrine physiology touches upon all kinds of different organ systems. So I would encourage students not to necessarily be very narrow or be too worried about which physiology aspect to really pursue. Have an open mind, pursue what interests you, and it's okay to, to be fluid amongst different systems. And in fact, most research these days that happens really takes into account different organ systems to tackle these larger health questions.